Welcome to another episode of Lily Sizzling, and tonight we have a summer sizzle-tastic recipe for you. We're going to be making some cheeseburgers, and what's better for summer than cheeseburgers? And if you live in a rainy state like Washington, you'll never have the chance to barbecue hardly because it rains, and it rains, and it pours. So because of that, we're going to be doing that inside the house, and we have here a good pound, maybe pound and a half, shoot, hamburger, big chunk of hamburger, so we're going to get this guy seasoned on up. We're going to be having a citrus salad tonight with it and some corn and everything with it. We're going to be making these cheeseburgers a little extra special with some grilled mushrooms and onions and Swiss cheese and bacon. Don't forget the bacon. It's all about bacon. Got to have bacon. Okay, so let's get our cheeseburgers up and season. Let's take some, a uh, little bit of lemon pepper here, some garlic powder, lots of garlic powder. Let's take some black pepper, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. You want a lot of black pepper. I like peppery cheeseburgers. <laughs> All right, and let's get some parsley on here for color. And so the seasonings cook on through. We're going to mix in the seasonings into the meat. If you have a child or a little helper who's old enough and big enough, this is a fun part for them all the time. Get, get the kids' hands gooey, that's my motto. So I don't want to be gooey yet. Somebody or does mom to be have gooey? to be any more gooey? I don't or... want to be gooey. Let me get gooey. <laughs> I'm looking forward that to That is my gooey. live studio audience tonight. That is Layla, everyone. She's watching live. I'm in as studio. Mommy cooks cheeseburgers to feed her breast milk. One day yeah. soon I'll be making baby food. A nice ep special episode with uh, baby food. I want to do all different types of baby food and show you how to just do it right in your blender. Even chicken noodle soup or soups and stuff, baby food soups. Let's get these burgers on up here. I'm going to do about four big guys. Oh, yeah. There the sizzles. That's right. Camera guys stuck. Doing the baby test. The little system to do the little system thing. Hey, 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 hey. I am the star of the show, not that one. Mm -hmm. Still be my assistant. <laughs> Lila, don't you steal the camera for me? Hey, look, it's about uh, these. Uh, 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 oh. It's these. Oh. These right here, these cheeseburgers. No, no, oh, okay. cheeseburgers. Gotta have the cheeseburger. Looks almost like a brain. Mm. <laughs> brain. <laughs> Insane. Brain burgers. Yep, brain burger. brain okay, burgers. Okay, my hands are all gooey and sticky. I'm going to get the corn yeah. on up next time. We're going to be making our citrus yeah. salad. Making corn is really simple. Rocks, can you make corn? Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes I can make corn. It passes in a can. In a can? <laughs> Just break off the little Because I can't make it if it's in a can. Get the husk off. I, we used to grow corn. All the time, yeah. My mom used to say a funny corn. word, and you know, I've got to put her on camera about this. It was like when the corn turned black one year. We had all this corn and all these crops just growing in the backyard in Dixon, California. That's a little farming town, someplace between Sacramento and San Francisco. So we were living there in this little farming town and had all this corn growing, and the corn started turning black. And my mom said it had something called smut. Now, <laughs> Smut. The corn was very dirty minded corn, so I don't know if that's even a true word for corn growing or what, or something she made up. There's another one that she made up, these little aphid like bugs that would bite you down in the backyard. She'd call them no see like no see I, I don't know if those are even real if they exist or just because it's solely in her head. You know that the Native Americans were the first people to discover popcorn? <laughs> It's a very interesting, weird little scientific fact for your Native American history about corn. All right. Let's make a big old mess here. So I'm going to finish de-husking this corn, and then we're going to toss it right in there in that pan. Oh, look, we've got a, this one's yellow. What a surprise. Got a mixture of corn colors tonight, folks. All right, folks, so here is our corn here, and I've got most of this little stringy, husky stuff up. It's great to throw in people's hair and put down their no, underwear and pants. So Trust just drop me. your no, corn into the boiling water here. This will be done in about, oh, a good 10 minutes or so. You can do it less, you can do it more. 
depends on your own taste on how fresh and crispy you like it. I like mine down a little bit, so I'm going to let her steam and boil in there. Meanwhile, we've got our cheeseburgers up here. going to turn these guys up a little bit. We're going to start sauteing our uh, mushrooms and our onions here soon, and then we're going to get our bacon on up. So that's coming up next. And then last but not least, get your salad. She's hungry. I can hear her. She doesn't want us to cut. She wants the cut. food. Cut. She's cut some more cheese. Yeah, pickles. Cheese. Pickles. Don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. Yes. <laughs> Don't be stingy. Okay, so this is how rocks when you tell them to cut the bacon. Well, look over here, folks. I told him to prepare a little bit of bacon for me while I gave the baby some oatmeal. She didn't say I cut say, the cheese. Cut the bacon, and he does this. I, oh, well, that's a great invention for kitchen shears. Okay, so we're going to get this bacon here started and cooking up. All right, add some pepper onto the bacon. It smells good, doesn't it, Lila? It is some good bacon. There we go. And I always add pepper to my bacon. I, I don't know. I'm a person who likes a lot of pepper on their food. Okay, so let's get this bacon started up here. Let's we're gonna get the mushrooms and the onions sauteed next. Then we'll work on our citrus salad here. And our cheeseburgers are about ready to get a good flip. They put the sizzling over here. I'm gonna take a look at these guys. And get up underneath them and get a nice good flip on them. Wait. Cheeseburger time. These are big cheeseburgers. I'm going to cut an onion and make everyone cry. This is where Lila is going to scream away. Ah! Mommy is cutting an it's onion. True. Hey, 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 hey. Now you put that camera back on me. She is not taking over my show. I can see it now. The future. Lila's sizzling. Lila's sizzling. Now you know that rings a nice bell. Lily and Lila sizzling together. Mother and daughter team. Yeah. I can't wait till she can start cooking. Are you going to steal the spotlight? Yeah, she will. Okay, so I'm going to get these onions cut up here and put these onions in a pan. Basically, you're going to give the onions just a good dice. I hear you, I hear you. Now you want some more food. See, now I'm going to want some more food, Mama. All this stuff smells good. Oh, she's gearing up being ready to eat, folks. Okay, folks, so I got the fixins here that's going to be sauteed up here. We're going to get some olive oil into our pan. A good liberal amount here. And then we're going to get these guys out, get our spoon, and we're going to put them on in here and saute them in the olive oil. They're going to get a nice good saute on them. These are going to be our toppings right over our burgers. So of course, we're going to have to season them up because we can't just let them sit just like that. What we're going to do here with these guys is we're going to take some pepper. And we're going to take some rosemary. We're going to add in some rosemary right over the top of them. So it's going to give them some really nice flavor in there. There we go. We've got some pepper and some rosemary. <laughs> if you like a little bit of seasoned salt, too, you can add just a little bit of seasoned salt to them. And that'll make a really good saute. You could even put these over chicken or steak or whatever you want to go. They're just a really good simple mushroom onion mix. And it goes good over different types of meat meals. But it's really good on burgers. These are little baby Bella mushrooms that we're using, so that's going to be the better one over the whites. Use the little baby Bellas and saute them up. Get them all nicely coated in that olive oil there. So they cook nice and evenly and through. Oh, I hear you now. She is really, really, really excited for this meal. Okay, we're going to get our bacon turned here in a second. If you can take a look here, cheeseburgers are getting nice and sizzled up and done. We're going to give them another nice good flip here, keep them evenly cooking on through here. Don't try to smush them or squish them too much, folks. That'll take all the juice out. You want to take the juice out of the cheeseburgers here. So there we have it with our cheeseburgers. And we're going to get these guys sautéed and start working up here on our citrus salad and getting this stuff ready to plate on up in a few more minutes here once these cheeseburgers get done. We're basically coming right to the end steps of this episode. This has been a really quick and easy one to cook. All right, let's get to it. Okay, folks, we're going to start here on our citrus salad. This is a really easy salt to make. We're going to get the uh, skins here off of our oranges and chop them up. So just chop up your orange like you would. And you're going to put in some kids' lunch. You can get the orange off of here by just peeling it, pull it in half and peel it down just like this. You're going to create a 
a lot of good juice. So just do this right here with your fingers and just peel it off. Some people buy fancy, fancy kitchen devices. Y'all don't need that. You can just peel it right on up. In fact, I'm going to peel it over the bowl. That would be an even better bet. So we get all the juice that captured in this bowl. You know, it doesn't make for good camera use over here. We can I'll still do it right over the bowl. Sorry, cameraman. Yeah, look at all that juice. I don't want to miss all that juice. The juice is the best part here. Look at that. Oh, good oranges. Very, very juicy. So we're going to peel on through our orange here. And then we're going to do our grapefruits and some lemons as well and get some lemon pepper right on over the tops of these guys. It's going to be delicious. Here I want about two or three oranges to one ratio of a grapefruit. And mix it all in. If you notice I have a band-aid on, it's because I broke my fingernail. That hurt really bad. I usually keep these really long, beautiful nails. But after I got done being pregnant, my nails just are falling apart. I'm just falling to pieces. Reminds me of a song. Falling to pieces. After having little Lila over there, I'm falling, falling to pieces. While I'm peeling my orange over there. All right. <laughs> Did I win? Did I win the uh, the talent singing show? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna keep doing this to these oranges. So you get the idea here. Okay here, so we have the uh, grapefruit here, and we're going to cut these big chunks of grapefruits into littler chunks, and I've got a big old bowl there of juice. I've just been working on juicing everything. So this is about the size of the chunks that you're going to need here. And we're going to do the whole grapefruit, but for filming purposes, I'm going to show you what you're going to do with this half of the grapefruit. You can get it right here into the salad bowl. Here, I'm going to dispose of you, cameraman. That'd be good. Cooperation there. In the view of the camera. Okay, any orange chunks are too big, you're going to cut up into thirds. You know, little good bite-sized little chunks, just like this. There we have it. So most of these are cut up through when I peel them. Anything that's not, you just give it a quick little whirl of a cut. And the principle is, is that you're just going to add all this good stuff right on into this bowl. And that's about it for citrus salad here. I'm going to just do a little bit of lemon and the rest of the half of this grapefruit here. I tell you, if you have any cuts on your fingers now, it will fill all of it. Oh, Lila, yes, it will be. It will be a good fruit salad. She's wondering if it's going to be a good fruit salad. Good citrus salad. Oh, yes. Now get her toes away from it. Goodness. Okay, so we're going to get the other half of this grapefruit cut on up into this citrus salad here. So these things are a little bit different than oranges are bigger. It's got more of that rind stuff to them. They're bitter as heck. Now, rocks can eat and drink grapefruit juice. Yes, I know. It's so gross, Lila. Yeah. <laughs> well, the grapefruit juice is one of the nastiest inventions on earth, I swear. No, I'm playing. If you like grapefruit it. juice, I know. Don't be stingy. Okay, folks, our citrus salt here is about done. We're just going to add some lemon pepper right on in. Or add a little bit of lemon juice to right into the sky. Not too much lemon juice, just about half of a lemon's worth. Ooh, that's of sorts. Uh, I gotcha. Me. Cameraman mm. over on the world, be advised. It was almost my eye. It was almost your eye. Okay, Get so take hand. a look here at this citrus salad. There you go. That stuff looks beautiful. And let's just sprinkle a little bit of parsley right over the top of it, too, just for that extra little green garnish there. So this is our citrus salad, and that's how you make it. This is what you do with it. All right, folks, so let's get the rest of this stuff plate on. Let's take out our bacon. Let's take out our burgers. If you come over here and you take a look, everything, folks, is done. We have nice sizzled up cheeseburgers here. Cooked perfectly. All ready and done. They're saying, eat me, eat me. And our mushrooms are done sautéing, and our bacon just got finished, and our corn is done. So we're going to get this stuff all ready to go here with all the fixings and the trimmings. And uh, let's have some bacon Swiss cheeseburgers here. I'm going to add on the cheese here as I'm taking out the bacon. Okay. It is cheesing time. Let's get these guys cheesed up. Cheese, cheese, and cheese. 
get all the cheese up onto our meat. We're gonna let that stuff melt down here. We're gonna get our bacon dudes. Put our bacon dudes over here onto this mm -hmm. plate. Bacon dudes. Yeah. Put our bacon dudes. Oh, they're nice and crispy and good too. I'm gonna let the grease kind of fall out of them and cut some bacon dudes here for our cheeseburgers. Oh, those look good. Those are good little bacon dudes. Eat, 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 eat. That's all, folks. Yeah. All right, so let's put our hot pile of hot grease right there. Okay, so let's let these guys sizzle and let get the cheese nice and melt. Our bacon dudes are out. We're going to start doing cheeseburger making stations right over here where the magic is going to happen on this side of the counter. Yeah, let's go. Let's get cheeseburger making time. Okay, folks, our cheese is about done. If you want to get a nice good cheeseburger cheesing going on, you kind of you know, start hugging the burger like how you see this one doing. Now that's a nice good skirt right around the cheese there. That's about how you're going to want it to look. This one right here is, he's a done guy. Let's get this guy on up. Oh, look at that cheese. Cheese string. Okay, right over here onto the burger bun, folks. Let's get a little bit of uh, mustard, a little bit of ketchup. Get some of these bacon guys. Get some bacon guys. Ooh, hot bacon guys. I know you want some more bacon guys. You're like, don't be stingy, huh? Is this the don't be stingy part, Rox? Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Your cue. Uh, don't be stingy. You missed your cue. Yeah. You bad actor. You're just like, he's so intrigued to watch me make these little burgers. And he's like, I was kind of like in that little green dress you're wearing. Kind of distracted me a little. Polka dots. This is going to be one humongous, humongous burger. Let's get some of these mushroom guys right up here. I think I still had some lemon in my eye. You have lemon in your eye. Are you crying because it's going to be that good? That sizzle tastic? Oh, this is going to be a hard one to top. This is going to be a really <laughs> big burger. Well, come on over here. Monster burger. That is a monster burger. Uh, stuff the toppings back into him. He's that monstrous. Look at that guy. How are you going to even put your mouth around that? Uh, I like, think I'm going to uh, need some help from the little ones. Yeah, you're going to need some help from the little ones. Okay, I'm going to tongue up some corn here. and We've got our burger here done. Let's tongue up some corn and get some pepper on our corn with just a little bit of butter, if you want some butter. And let's plate up our citrus salad. Okay, folks, let's butter up this corn. The best way to do it I find is to get a big spoonful of butter out of the container and just get a pat of butter and run it along with your fingers and flip the corn. Try not to burn yourself. The stuff is hot. And just pat it along like so. You use clean fingers, of course, and it's one of the best ways to get it all on there. It just makes it better, too. Something about that. You don't need no fancy gadgets to do that. Get some pepper on up that guy. Okay. And last but not least here... And get up some of our citrus salad. Shoot. There we go. Let's get the yes. citrus salad. Wow. What? Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's got some bitterness to it, doesn't it? <laughs> so here we have it, folks. We have made mushroom Swiss cheese bacon burgers with citrus salad. Of course, and so with our cheeseburgers here, so we started out and we made some, we uh, put the seasonings right into the cheeseburgers. We put the, uh, the garlic and the lemon pepper and the pepper and all that good stuff, the parsley, all right into there. And we mushed into the meat and we start frying that up. And then we added in our, we start our, up our bacon and we cut our bacon in half with scissors. That's what Fox does. Anyways, and then we started our bacon up and put a lot of pepper all over the tops of our bacon and then we started our mushrooms with a little bit of rosemary and some pepper on the mushrooms and with our sautéed in their uh, red onion. So then after we moved on to that, we started on our citrus salad. Citrus salad, really easy folks. Anyone can make citrus salad. You just take some oranges, three oranges, even one grapefruit and one lemon. And yes, even you. Even rocks can make citrus salad. So <laughs> if rocks can make it, you can too. So we took this grapefruit and this orange and a little bit of lemon, we cut it all up and we just squeezed some lemon juice over the tops of it and a little bit of parsley for some coloration and some lemon pepper as well for a little bit of spice and more tang. And then we had our corn, that's uh, what we dehusked and we had boiling all along in our pan. And then we just took some butter and some pepper here to our corn and we put that on 
got that on the plate and we put everything with an onion bun over here. It's better with an onion bun. You can use the Kaiser roll too if you want one of those. So this is your awesome Swiss cheeseburger bacon deluxe meal right here. <laughs> Look at that plate. That plate is full. So I hope you enjoyed another episode of Lily Sizzling. You can watch us on youtube.com backslash lily sizzling youtube.com backslash the rocks heart www.sizzletastic.com Right Channel here. 77 in Seattle. Yeah, right you here. Remember to put yes. the link there. <laughs> I will. Where is it again? I remember from last episode it was Go down, down, down. Right, right there. Right there is the link. And you can come. Uh, up higher. Yeah. Up higher. No, it's in my nose. The link is in my nose. I'm going to put a link on my nose. Stop that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this Sizzletastic episode. Come watch this again, and of course, Lila's going to love this too. She is a great sport watching Mommy cook this whole episode. Thank you again, guys, and bon appetit. Have a good dinner. <laughs>